What's going on folks? Today I'm going to be showing you the card game Racco. The original game came out in 1956 and it is for two to four players. Now Racco is a game that has been around for a long time and it has been re-released -re several different times from several different companies. The uh, object of the game is you are going to be trying to uh, put cards into sequence in your rack. You're going to be dealt 10 cards uh, and they can be numbered 1 through 60 depending on how many players there are and you're going to be trying to rearrange them and being the first person to do so. So let's show you Racco. Okay folks, I have a four player game set up over here and we'll just start with the components. Uh, the first thing you have here is your rack and there are 10 slots um, and they are uh, numbered in multiples of five. And then you also have your Racco deck, and I've already dealt out 10 cards to each player. And the cards are numbered 1 through 60. Now, depending on how many players there are, um, you're going to play with a certain amount of numbers. Uh, so for a four-player game, which we have set up, we're going to use all 60 numbered cards. Um, if you're doing a three-player game, you're going to go to number 50 in these. So you'll take out numbers 51 through 60. And then for a two-player game, you'll do numbers 1 through 40. Anyway, once you deal out all the cards, um, what you're going to do is the first card that you are dealt, you are going to place in the very top of the rack like so. Um, and then for each other card you get, you're going to put it below that number like so. And you're just simply going to go ahead and put it up like that. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put all the cards in real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and got the two racks filled up. And even though we're doing a four-player game, I'm just going to focus on these two racks over here. So after all the cards are dealt out, you'll note that they are not in numerical order. And the object is you're going to try to get cards in numerical order. And when you are the first person to do that, you're going to call out Racco. Uh, so after all the cards are dealt out, you're going to uh, play a card face up. Now let's say player one decides to go. So he's going to have two choices. He will either be able to uh, pick a card from here or pick up the discard. Uh, so now since he's trying to get the cards in order, um, seven will actually work well over here behind the four so what he would do is he would go ahead and take out this card and then replace it with this one which is seven and then he was going to go ahead and discard this card over here and then it's going to go to player two so player two is going to go ahead and look at his cards now uh, these serve a couple of purposes this is going to be used for scoring purposes but this is also a good indicator as to where you would like to try to maybe get certain numbered cards let's say player Two looks at the rack um, and he decides, okay, well, I've got a 43 here, which is out of order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 47 over here and I'm going to go ahead and discard uh, the 43. And uh, of course, player three and player four will go, but let's just, just go back to player one here. So player one looks and he sees he's got a 43. So he decides he's going to take the 43 and then replace it with the 36 like so and then he puts the 40 through. So now he's getting closer uh, to getting cards in numerical order. Uh, so once again, um, it's going to be players two's turn. Um, so let's just say he decides to pass on that and he just decides he's going to draw and he draws a 49. Uh, so that seems to be a pretty good card. So let's just say he decides he's going to go ahead and uh, replace that with this. Now, um, he does not have to use this card to replace something. If it turns out that's a card he doesn't want, he could just simply discard it. And uh, once you are able to get all the cards in numerical order, you're going to call out Racco. So this would be an example of a Racco. All the cards are in numerical order. Um, now, whoever gets the Racco is going to score 75 points, and the points are going to be 5 for each of the 10 cards he's played on his rack, and then 25 points bonus for going Racco. Uh, now, the other player is going to score... Uh, five points in their rank in low to high sequence. Let's just say player two had something that would look like this. So what he's going to do is, uh, for the cards he has in numerical order, he's going to count up points up to the point where the order is broken. So he scored for this card, he scored for this card, he'd score for this card, but he would not score here, so he would end up getting 15 points. And the game is going to go to 500 points, and the first person to score 500 is going to win the game. Uh, now the version I have, they have a uh, bonus version of Racco over here, and I'll just kind of show you the instructions for that. But anyway guys, that is Racco. So my final thoughts on the game Racco. Well, this is a game we've owned for a while, and I've seen several different versions out of this game when I have gone thrifting. Um, this is a very good family game, really easy to learn. 
Um, and there is some strategy that is involved. Now, when you're first playing the game and you're rearranging the cards, it's pretty simple. But as you start to get down to two or three cards that you need to try to get in order, it gets a lot harder. And there are times when you might actually have to change up your strategy uh, because you're just not getting the cards that you want. So you may have to switch out another card and kind of rearrange things a little bit differently to try to get the cards that you want. Um, an interesting aspect of this game is uh, you want to try to see if you can stack the cards up rather evenly. And it really just depends on where you are in the game just really depends on what cards you get because you may end up getting a lot of lower cards that are going to be in order and you'll be able to make more room for higher cards or vice versa. Uh, so it really just depends, but there is a little bit of strategy in this game. Probably not going to be a game that's going to be liked by hardcore card gamers, uh, but if you're looking for just a simple fun game that's easy to learn and uh, fun to play, this would be a good one to get. So guys, that's my review of Racco. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.